Shrikant joins me now from Hyderabad after flying back from Spain. Congratulations, Shrikant, on the silver medal. Uh, have you been able to process the enormity of your achievement, the first Indian men's player to reach a World Championship final? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, frankly, I didn't know about uh, uh, me being the very first to reach a final of a World Championships in men's singles. Uh, one of the reporters told me after my semi-final match. Uh, but again, uh, yeah, I am more happy that uh, I was able to uh, perform well, uh, consistent, uh, be consistent throughout the tournament. Uh, I think that gives me uh, more happiness rather than anything else. Okay, Shrikant, you are someone who is deeply analytical. So, have you been able to reflect on what you think went wrong in that final against uh, Loki New? Uh, see, I think uh, it was it was a very good match and very close one. Uh, one two points in the second set after eighteen sixteen would have made a huge difference. Uh, you know, if I would have won the second set, nobody knows what would have happened. Uh, so I uh, think I played really well. It's it was it was just about that uh, one or two points in the end. Uh, yeah, that's uh, something I'll definitely keep in mind. Work on it and then try and get better for next time. Shrikant, when you sit back and analyze your performance, is it only the loss in that final match, or do you also now, now that you're back here? You look back at the way that you approached each game, each situation in a sense, over the course of the tournament. You started playing what, at least eight, nine days ago? Well, definitely. Uh, you know, going into that tournament, I uh, really kept things very simple. I uh, told myself that I'll only think about the match that I am playing. Uh, I will not think much uh, into the tournament. I'll not uh, keep any targets. I'll not put uh, any goals. Uh, and I kept very simple. I uh, uh, just was thinking about the next match that I'm playing. That's it. I didn't have anything else in my mind. It's a good approach. It's a good approach and it's clearly worked. So what now are the lessons for you and your team from this tournament, Shrikant? Uh, what do you now take home to work on in 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 the short off season that's that that you're going to get? See, definitely, I uh, want to push myself much harder, try and uh, uh, get that goal next time. But again, I uh, didn't really get much time to sit and talk and analyze. Uh, I'll probably do that, uh, say tomorrow or day after. Uh, and then and then see uh, and then ask my coach, physio, trainer, uh, take their opinions, take their feedback, and then uh, try and implement it in the training. Probably once I start training again uh, for the India Open, which is the next immediate tournament I have. So I'll uh, try and see how much I can improve for the India Open, and then and then yeah, I I will definitely work on uh, uh, whatever my coach, physio, and trainer have to say. Uh, and then uh, let's see, I'll just try, I'll just uh, keep pushing myself uh, for sure. You know, I also have to ask you about your duel with Lakshya Sen because, you know, having covered badminton over these years, we've gone used to seeing, especially the women singles players, battle each other at these big tournaments, but very rare to, uh, to see an all-Indian semi-final, must add, very refreshing as well. Uh, but what about Lakshya Sen? He's been making rapid progress over the years and... How impressed have you been, Srikant, by his performances? I think he's been uh, playing really well last few months. And he's very young, he's very passionate. It's good to see uh, uh, young players uh, doing well. Uh, it's always a good sign. And uh, I'm sure there'll be many more young players who can do well at the big events. And uh, I would uh, want to include myself also into that list. <laughs> I like that. Wipe away the two years just like that. Iron Man, Iron Man style. But you know, you mentioned that the about the pandemic, so I'll draw in on that. How how difficult Shrikan was it sitting on the sidelines? Because the pandemic especially wasn't kind on you. 
Well, uh, yes, uh, I uh, was not really happy uh, because of the gap that I got. Uh, I was I had to sit out. Uh, I even before in between tournaments there was some six to eight months gap in between tournaments. Uh, it was a it was a very tough phase for me, but uh, I kept practicing. I kept pushing myself, and uh, finally, yeah, I'm just happy that it paid off at the right time. You know, I I could uh, peak and uh, do well at the right time in the right tournament. Yes, peaked well with the World Championship silver, but talking about you know big medals and big tournaments, how frustrating was it watching the Olympics on TV? Because you know you reached the quarterfinals in Rio in 2016, but uh, the lack of a proper run-in meant that you didn't get the points to qualify for the Tokyo Games. See, uh, definitely, I I was disappointed. Uh, you know, there were again two things to it. One is that I was still uh, I was uh, I was the highest ranked player uh, as per the normal world rankings. Uh, as I was 14, you have to be inside 16 to qualify. I was 14, but uh, they said those rankings will not count. And then uh, and then they've can BWF cancelled seven to nine tournaments. And uh, you know then if there are so many things that are happening against you, then you can't really do anything. And uh, COVID is something that. Uh, you can't control at all. So yeah, those those, those were some uh, you know uncontrollable scenarios. I would say uh, nothing was in my hand. But all uh, uh, I was thinking about, or all that I was focusing about, is to uh, play well in the tournaments after the Olympics, because Olympics will come and will Olympics will come and go for sure. There will be tournaments after Olympics for sure. It's not like you are playing Olympics and then you'll not play any tournament for the next four years. There'll be tournaments immediately after Olympics. And I know that I told myself that whatever has happened has happened because I uh, didn't have anything in my control. I can't do anything. But what I can do is train and then play well in the next set of tournaments that are there after the Olympics. And I started off with the Sudirman Cup and slowly I got better. I'm just happy with the way I know it uh, I know, the way it has it has happened for me you know, this year. Now, Shrikant, right through the tournament, you know, be it in the press conferences or even on the commentary, they kept reminding you that you have not won a tournament since 2017, that this uh, World Championship final was your first since the India Open in at the end of March 2019. Now, I've known you over the years and, you know, you're a, you're a very reserved person. So how did you sort of deal with all this negativity and, and self-doubt? So, but there was never a self-doubt. I never doubted myself. I always knew that uh, I can come back. I can come back and win tournaments. I always know that I can do it. Uh, all I wanted was a little time before I figure out everything, before I get back to that uh, uh, you know, rhythm. And uh, if you can actually see, even now, it's not like I uh, played World Championships after six months or eight months. Uh, it's not like my first tournament that I went and performed. That was like my ninth or the tenth tournament. And I slowly started to perform. I played some semi-finals, some quarter-finals. And then slowly I went on you know, to reach this final. So it was it was, it was, was a progress, I would say. It was a slow progress. Uh, and I'm just happy that you know it happened at the right time. Slow progress, yes, but gradual build-up of momentum, as you're saying. You know, the Shrikant we have seen over the years has always been sort of a, a momentum player, you know. The next event on the calendar is the India Open, which is what, January, 10th of January. Do you feel, Shrikant, that you have that momentum with you now? I would say yes, uh, because I am feeling very good. I'm feeling very confident. I am uh, sure that I can do well at the India Open because I won that tournament before, I played a finals before. So, so yeah, I'm sure that I can do well. But again, uh, it is going to be uh, very tough from the first round. And uh, I'll again start thinking about uh, the first round that I'm playing and then from there on. Okay, Shrikant, it's been uh, a tough road for the world and for you as well over the last two years. Hopefully, you found the answers along that uh, journey. Thanks for your time. And uh, congratulations once again. Looking forward to seeing you play at the India Open in, in New Delhi in 20 days' time. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you soon.